Hello everyone, welcome to the channel District Endocrine. This is Dr. Anis Rahman. Uh, I'm an endocrinologist and uh, today we are going to talk about hyperthyroidism and COVID-19 infection. Uh, the content of this video is based on the official statements of the American Thyroid Association and I would like to answer fairly common questions that thyroid patients ask us in the clinics. So let's start from what is hyperthyroidism or overactive thyroid. Well, it is a condition uh, where thyroid gland produces excessive amount of thyroid hormone or thyroxine. Hyperthyroidism accelerates body's metabolism, resulting in fast or irregular heartbeats, uh, unintentional weight loss, and the list of non-specific symptoms goes on. Patient may complain of having increased appetite, anxiety, irritability, shakiness, sweatiness, and the fatigue, muscle weakness, or different sleep disorders. So I would like to talk about the COVID-19 and the post-infection thyroid disease. Uh, recently, it was published that uh, a patient, uh, a case report from Italy, when a patient who developed elevated levels of thyroid hormone, uh, which was a subacute thyroiditis, after the patient acquired COVID-19 infection, the symptoms were neck pain, fever, increased heart rate, and neck enlargement. Uh, patient underwent thyroid labs and a thyroid ultrasound, which confirmed the diagnosis. Uh, this person was then treated with uh, steroids and then he recovered. So how do patients who take methamazole uh, tell the difference between the side effects of methamazole or if they have COVID-19 infection? Less than 0.2% of these patients may experience a rare side effect called agranulocytosis uh, in which there is a decrease in the production of immune cells uh, to fight infections. Now this condition may present with fever, sore throat uh, which is similar to COVID-19 infections presentation. Uh, patient could should contact their endocrinologist or family physician uh, and stop taking methamazole. Regardless of the methamazole use, if anyone develops a new fever, cough or any typical symptom of COVID-19, they should seek uh, medical attention immediately. Since the symptoms overlap with COVID-19 infection, um, you should wait till the results of your COVID-19 test is back if that has been ordered by your physician. Now, even if your results are negative, uh, you should be really careful um, to avoid uh, going out, make sure you wear mask and go and avoid unnecessary travel because if you have uh, a rare side effect of methamazole called agranulocytosis, your immunity is, is very low. And uh, you should also pay attention to the CDC guidelines when it comes to COVID-19 infection uh, and take extra precautions. Well, this was the uh, video from the series COVID-19 and endocrine disorders. Uh, hang in there. We'll be posting more videos on the topics. Um, thank you for watching the channel. Do not forget to subscribe District Endocrine and like the video. Uh, you can uh, visit our website www.districtendocrine.com uh, for more written blogs. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video and stay safe. Bye-bye.